What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So we are in the shop working on the chopper again on Project Grimace. This is episode three. So today we are going to turn Grimace into a roller. So what do we have to do to turn Project Grimace into a roller? Well, it's kind of simple, kind of not. So first we need to install the front triple trees and forks. Then after that, we need to get the rear wheel on. Again, none of that seems too complicated. There are a couple little things we need to do while we're at it. We're going to install our chain conversion kit. And the throttle addiction hardtail kit has you modify your factory axle adjusters for use with this kit. So the TC Bros kit actually comes with axle adjusters. I prefer that. Is what it is, right? So we're just going to go ahead and do it the way they say to do it. So... Just looking over it, as you guys saw in the last video, we got everything welded and the welds blended and everything's going great there. The project's coming along quickly. I have a few more parts that are supposed to come in this week from TC Bros, which are some bungs for mounting the gas tank and a bung for mounting the seat because I am not using the seat that Throttle Addiction sent with the kit. So once that's done, we will be able to paint the frame. And uh, yeah, things are coming along pretty quick on this so pretty much at this point everything's been bought for this the uh, only major expense I have left is exhaust which will be ordered next week and uh, which we have to install the exhaust before we can paint the frame because I'm gonna have to put some hardware on some like little tabs to hold the exhaust so those will have to be welded on and then once everything's mocked up well finish welded and the engine's in, and everything's set, and we're happy with how it is. It'll all get stripped again. I'm going to paint the frame myself. The tins are going to go out and get a really cool paint job. I'm really excited about that. That's probably going to be the most expensive part of this project, but who knows. So enough jibber-jabber. I'm going to throw you guys on the tripod, and we're going to modify this other axle adjuster. I, I already did the first one. And then after we do that, we're going to throw the front forks on and then do the chain conversion. So let's get some work done, guys. And Alrighty, so I got that on off camera. Um, that is kind of a two-person job. So it was a bit of a wrestling, shouting, and cussing match for me. I was kept getting hung up on this right here. But uh, So the front end is on. We will do the handlebars after we get the rear wheel on. But uh, the fender, don't worry about that. That's going to be going away. And uh, So just don't, don't focus too much. On what's on there right now because I took the other uh, bike apart like as efficient as possible so I left a lot of stuff together so don't focus on that so now I am going to throw the wheel up on my table here and we're going to throw that rear uh, that rear sprocket on and get that wheel onto this frame so let's get back at it so now we need to uh, take off the sprocket here the old sprocket, so we can put on the new sprocket. If you're like me and have air tools, it's a lot easier. So let's go ahead and zap that off. There we go, throw this in the junk pile. Brand new sprocket here from TC Bros. The only reason I get the TC Bros one is it's the cheapest kit that I've found, so cheapest quality kit. Uh, 
not that the quality is cheap. It's the cheapest kit that is still a quality kit. But uh, I've got nothing against using a lowbrow kit, throttle addiction, lead sled, whoever you want to use, use. I use CC Bros. Just throw that on there. Now, you want to take these bolts and clean them off and then apply Loctite. I'm going to apply Loctite, but I'm not going to clean them off. And you shouldn't listen to me, ever, because I'm an idiot. But this is how I do it. But the proper way would be to clean these and some brake clean. I don't have any right now, so it'll be fine. Hand start these. Do not just go running these home with a gun. And I torque those to two Ugga Duggas. Now, I don't have my brake set up done yet, so this isn't all going to be exact. I'm going to pull that sissy bar off. It's not going to... Or I just jack the rear end up and not be an idiot. Now that we got the rear tire on, we're going to go ahead and throw our rabbit ear handlebars on. I'm not going to lock tight any of this because these will be coming back off. Now that those bars are on, I'm going to throw the fender and uh, seat and all that back on and we're going to get an idea of what this thing's going to really look like. And then now, once I roll it off the lift, I'll be able to find out if I need to move the, hand, the gas tank forward or backwards or if it's good where it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and start throwing this thing loosely back together. So forget the front fender. That's not going to be there. Look here back because I still may extend those front forks anywhere from six to 10 inches, I don't know yet. But you're starting to get an idea of what the bike is gonna look like. The fender isn't set where it's supposed to be yet because the jack is in the way. But these are gonna be the handlebars and the gas tank and the seat. I'm really digging the way this is coming together. So overall, I'm super thrilled with everything. Uh, like I said, everything's loosely put together or with the fender, it's just sitting there. Like the, I can't install the fender yet until I solve my brake issue. Once I figure out what I'm gonna do for a rear brake, then I can go and uh, set my fender because my rear wheel will be set in its uh, orientation side to side. So overall, Everything's coming along great. I'm really excited. But I guess that's going to kind of wrap this video up, guys. Again, I love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Bang that notification bell so you can keep up with this project and any other projects we have. And if you'll head on down to the description box, there's links to all of our social media as well as our company website, hotheadstalls.com, where we sell everything for horses. There's a 5% off discount code there. And there's also a mailing address if you want to send me some stickers or uh, any motorcycle parts or anything, have at it. Again, I love you all. I will catch you in the next one. I'm out of here.